Hi guys, my name's Brock. I'm Marissa. And we are the neighborly. <laughs> Our new song, Trust and Treason, came out. Sits in a little bit of a, a different place. Certainly if you compare it to the music that we've released already. <laughs> Heavier subject matter, I suppose. It's more of a contemplative song dealing with the hard times and the trials in your life. This song lyrically and even in its musical posture, it looks head on at grief and at difficult things and pain. And I like to think it's just honest about that. It's like, this isn't pleasant. Nothing about this is cool. <laughs> There's no sense in trying to wrap it up in silver lining or platitudes. You know, we would rather not be in this valley if, I, if our preferences were placated to. But in Orissa and I's case, the way we live our life, we trust that there really is a sovereign hand and that we are going to see the purpose of this, if not today, someday. And, mm -hmm. and in that, we find hope. I think when I was growing up, a lot of the music that, that I would listen to when I was depressed was very effective at meeting me in my depression, but was not very effective at leading me out of it or showing me hope. I think of a lot of the artists that even ended their life in that despair that they were writing from. I, I read a lot of songs. I always wanted to touch on that. I always thought that was important. I, I listened to a lot of that too in those phases. And I think that there is a place for this kind of music, especially if you're going through a, a hard time or you want to contemplate something difficult. Music really is the soundtrack to our life and our experiences. And if you just write a whole bunch of music that doesn't deal with those things that we all go through, um, you're missing out on being the soundtrack to somebody's walk. The song has been with Arissa and I for a while. We sung the song for Lent, for funerals. The song has been very practical, like an arrow in our quiver. Sometimes you get called on to musically set an environment like mm -hmm. that, or at least speak into that environment with music. And it was very nice to have something that did that. But what it really ended up being was something that I could give a friend of mine, two friends of mine, when they were in a place that I knew there was no amount of words I was mm -hmm. going to be able to give them and wipe away their tears. Mm -hmm. But I could give them this that I had really crafted to meet them in that despair. And hopefully it bombed the wound. Mm -hmm. You know, that was mm -hmm. the hope. So we really hope that you can do that. Right. Because the song isn't going to be on your <laughs> happy, happy, joy, joy playlist. I have that playlist. Limited. Right. Not everybody's going to listen to it all the time. The subject matter is having hope even in difficult times. And what's interesting about this song is right before I lost my voice last year, we had sung this as our last public performance. A few days later, I lost my voice and I didn't know that I was ever going to get it back. I didn't know I was ever going to be able to sing again, speak, do all the things that you use your voice for. And uh, it was a very hard and difficult road to walk. I just find it very ironic that I was kind of forced to walk in the faith and the hope that it was going to be all right, even though it was a dark valley. But I look back and I watch that recording and it, it haunts me a little bit, not knowing what I was going to be walking into. Like I can see Arista sings it from a different place now because of that. It is mournful. I mean, it is mournful, but it, it's also full of hope. And there's a lot of really, really great people we wanted to thank. Yeah, we work with a producer, Tony Geyer, and he's just such a great guy. There's a lot of studio musicians Arista and I work with. When we take a song into the studio, we partner with different people that produce it in ways that we couldn't alone. So we wanted to thank some of the musicians and people that worked on this song. Drums, De Juan Rosado, percussion, and the voice of the the speaking um, was Yasser Sanchez, the piano was Imer Lopez, and Ty Godfrey also played the guitars and helped with production decisions um, along with Tony. And we were just so floored when we heard the version that he sent us after all those pieces were put into it. I just felt it gave the song this beautiful, haunting feel. Yeah. So we thank all of you guys. Gracias. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Muchas gracias. This is a little Easter egg. I'd like to think you have to watch this video to know it. Uh, there's scripture lamentation three. So on the front end of the song in Spanish, somebody's reading the despair scripture. And then on the back end of the song, somebody is reading the hope-filled scripture. And I think that's an artistic mm -hmm. decision that was providential. So we don't deserve the credit, Tony. <laughs> and the guys decided to do that. Just felt like lament in the form of music. Just proud of it. I think they did such a great job. And we're really, really fortunate to be just surrounded by <laughs> Im immense talent. I mean, we can't right. even get into it, but it makes it so much more fun and so much more exciting and hopefully so much more of a pleasurable and three-dimensional and full and complete experience for you guys. So 
The song is called Trust and Treason. We hope you share it with your friends, and we specifically hope you do so as an extension of yourself and your own heart. And also that it's useful to you at different points. We've had several people tell us how it resonated with them in difficult seasons. So we hope that this music would also do that for you as well. As always, we really appreciate you guys. And we hope these videos help you understand us and understand the music. I always like it when I get a little backstory on the song, which is a lot of the reason why we do this. So we got iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Spotify. What a world we live in. Our website, enablingmusic.com. Thanks for listening. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.